Ladies and duplicates. Yeah, it's another crescent moon. Can you believe it? Eh? We did one of these a few months ago. I am rather hoping that this won't be no different, if you know what I mean. Uh, because the last one was an absolute corker. So, let's have a listen to this, put it through its paces and uh, tell you what I can about it. Let's go. time and starting with the noisy or distorted setting uh, let's have a listen to the bridge pickup <laughs> some time. Uh, okay, and there's this. <laughs> So, let's see how they clean up. I'm starting with the bridge and... <laughs> In 
into the centre. <laughs> to the year of the palindromic numbers, I'd have to say. Uh, yes, um, speaking of numbers, let's just have a look and remind ourselves how we date a Gibson. So you take the first number and then trot along to the fifth number and those two numbers will give you the year unless it was made between, was it 2016 and 2019 when they started putting the year in the first two digits, confusingly, and now they've reverted back to first and fifth for the year again. My word. Oh, it's just so Gibson. Then the three numbers in between the first and the fifth denote the day of the year, and whatever's left at the end is how many along it was in the production run. And I don't think there were an awful lot of these made. So you've got your Gibson Dutz Cluson styles with the green keys on there. And a, obviously, a Gibson salt screen logo, usefully tells you it's an MG. MG an, M, an MG? That's a car, isn't it? An SG. There is a little bit of something going on with the headstock veneer. Uh, uh, you can probably see that than me. Um, but, you know, not anything untoward particularly. Everything is in good order and nothing broken. Ebony fretboard. I do like an ebony fretboard. And we've got the Crescent Moon inlays. And just to reiterate about the Crescent Moon inlays, Orville, uh, Gibson, uh, used to make mandolins. That was pretty much how he started out. And he employed the inlay skills of itinerant Turkish workers. And he very much admired the uh, Turkish flag emblem or logo and in fact the crescent moon and the star was a gibson logo for many many years and certainly on the mandolins and you'll see it crop up from time to time on the guitars but i can't remember them doing another crescent moon inlay since 2002 so 20 just over 20 years ago and, uh, you know, 22 frets, usual kind of thing. Uh, mahogany neck, mahogany body, of course. There is some buckle. If I get that into the right light, you should be able to see it. There is some buckle worming in there. And you can probably see that it's made up from more than one piece. Maybe that's more evident on the front. Yeah, sure is. So this one certainly had a bit of playing, and um, it's all original with the exception of, uh, in fact, the bridge. The bridge is a replacement. Um, it's got a name. It's some. It's a proper Korean one that you might have heard of. Uh, but I can only imagine that the uh, and they do the ABR bridges. They do collapse from time to time. Uh, so it's uh, so it's got. Uh, it's got a replacement bridge in it, but of course the pickups are totally original to the guitar. Um, action is exactly where we want to see it at 1.25 at the 12th, and you get which is hat control knobs with the silver uh, or chromed uh, inserts on the top there. Three position toggle switch, exhaust pipe on the front, and really, you know. That is it. You will see some numbers back here uh, that the pickups are popping out. I can't just remember what they are. Uh, but uh, certainly, it, uh, certainly, it's not just about power. It's about delivery. And I really do enjoy the way that this one puts it out. So, with all of that said, I shall bid you a fond farewell. And I'll see you soon. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.